from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that is so inspiring. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set and on the hill, James Paxton. Well, this guy featuring that straight four seam fastball, but off of it throws the cutter and really he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a Leading chance to collect some out. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh, Number 42 stands in here, takes ball one low. Next offering is downstairs. Popped up. Lux sizing this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Here's Dave Martinez lined up for the Nationals. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. On the ground. Throw on to Freeman. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. So now the DH spot, Joey Meneses. Paxton, 35 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2010. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Could have timed it up any better than that. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a ball the other way. So, man aboard. Here's Jesse Winker. Really strong hitting performance recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. First pitch, not close. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Swing and a miss as he was late. and deals. That one ripped but foul. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Runner at second. Two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one is off the batter's eye. Wow, out of here. And that should quiet this home crowd. His second homer this series. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0.
that's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's Lane Thomas. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. And now the lefty. And there's the strike. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And this is inside. It's a good take. The line of the pitch. Just misses. Three and two now. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Two out spaces empty. Line drive, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw to second is offline. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Joey Gallo. And first offering is fouled off. Man on second, two down. Well, Up and in, and one and one. one. one strike. Left hand batter waits. Two one. In the dirt, blocked, and the runner stays where he is. And he deals. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it on He's his out. own. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two-zip. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in L.A., and today's starter, Mackenzie Gore. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. As the lefty gets to work, Mookie Betts, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And here it comes. There's a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Batting second. Miguel Rojas hit the plate. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. That's in for a strike. This one popped up. Vargas under it. Hauls it in for the out. 
Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That's in there. Strike one. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. The three next offering two. misses. Counts full three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. And it finds its way through for a hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Battle right. cool. the pitch. Yeah. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Just missed. Freeman, the runner at first with two gone. There's a strike. And he pumps it a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Kicks and fires. Two balls, two strikes. Chopped out towards short. That ends the inning. One hit, one left. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Nationals two and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Top of the second. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. A wind in the pitch. This one in the air right field. Hernandez makes the catch. And yeah, there's one away. Batting Up now for Washington, Riley Adams. Riley Adams. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the catch for the out. Two away down. Batting, huh? the third and now up for Washington, Ray. Trey Lipscomb. Lipscomb. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Two down, nobody on. 
right through there for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Two outs. Now a pop up on the infield. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, makes the play, and it's out number three. Nothing doing for Washington. They're up to nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a big power threat. Max Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout yep, concerns. Just oh, missed. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Just missed. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, but they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with them. And now, Tasker Hernandez. That one misses. That's five straight. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And a pitch. There's a strike. Boom, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. Next That's offering ball. is down low. <laughs> Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Back there. Gone. And we're level. It's 2-2. He just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one finds the zone, oh, and one. it's 0-1. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The pitch. Tapped softly on the ground. Whips it to Gallo. That's one out in the bottom of the second. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Here's Kike Hernandez. First pitch misses. In the air to left center. In position. And there's two away. Batting on the second base. And now it's yeah, Gavin Lux. 
Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Two-run shot for the Dodgers this inning. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium, top half of the third inning, and now here's the Nationals' leadoff man, number 42. Paxton back to work. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. 0-1 is the count. And that's in for a strike. kick the pitch that's a hit so a runner aboard to start the inning now have the here's CJ Abrams to hit rounded out his first time up puts a bunt down Freeman he steps on the bag just got him on that one that's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. One for one with a double and a run score. It's the outside corner with that one. In the air, left side. Hernandez makes the grab, and there's two gone. The batter, the left hander. Now it's the Nationals' cleanup hitter, Jesse Winker. He's already homered here in this one. To strike up high, going one. Tied up here in the early going. That one missed. One out. Man at second. That one fouled off. Pitch and another ball. And on second, two down. Thank Off you. the plate, full count now. Lane Thomas up next for Washington. pitch foul ball and it remains a full count runner at second two down we're here in the top half of inning number three swings and misses couldn't hit the fastball at the knees so they can't do anything with the leadoff single there we move on to the bottom of inning number three we are tied 2-2 Bottom of the inning, go, stepping go. in, the this lucky shortstop, Mookie Short Betts. Stop. Betts can claim something not yeah. many players can. He's won the World Series playing in the National League and the American League. The pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A 
gigantic blast. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-2. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Winker makes the grab. One away. Now bat, first base. Freddie. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. One for one with a single so far. Part of the order nope. coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One down, base is empty. Center field under it. Pulls it in for the out. Two away. Now batter. The catcher. The batter now will be Will Smith. He's 0 for 1. In for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Two down bases empty, but one run across here in the last half of the third. And the one pitch ball, is outside, one ball one. Ball Wouldn't two. chase that time. That and that's a little three. bit high. And that's ball three. Now this is in the air down the line. Winker heads towards it. Drops into the glove. And that will end the inning. Mookie Betts springs the noise on this home run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day as we go to the top of the fourth. Up now for Washington, Lane Thomas. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. That pitch in for a strike. 4-1. Singy, we're celebrating Jackie Robinson today and what an honor it is for these players to have the chance to wear his number 42. Ball to strike. The pitch. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. And there's a strike. Yeah, just an iconic number. And to put that jersey on with four and two on the backside, it's got to be inspiring. These guys are honored and privileged to be able to go out there and play on a day like today. Man, it's second. That misses off the outside edge. And that one is lifted in the air. Outman settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Now Ildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. That's outside. Ball one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the 
plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. And another ball that I would expect in this 3-0 count. You're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Riley Adams in the on-deck circle for the Nets. At the belt and fires. There's the strike. And a pitch. This one in the dirt, and the runner holds. One away with a runner at third. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. so high really nice Definitely. job of coming through in a big spot you got a backdoor breaking ball really easy to give up on that pitch but he stayed on it and shot it right back in the direction it was breaking from. really nice job of letting it travel next to hit for the Nats Riley Adams foul ball there Adams in his third season 27 years old and he was a third round pick Back in 2017. Man at first, one away. And that's off the inside edge. And the count even one and one. And that's downed away. We got two balls, one strike. That's a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. All over that one right there. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. So one out with two aboard, and here is Trey Lipscomb. He's 0 for 1. And that drops in for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Vargas at second. Adams at first. One gone. That's nice through there for a strike. And that's in the dirt. One and two to count. Liner, tied second. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man. One for two. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And the lefty with the 0-1. Way time. high. First and second, two down. Top half of inning number four. Two outs. Mm. Just misses there. He's going off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And he deals. Foul ball. Another 2-2 upcoming. 
First and second, two down. pitch. Next offering is outside. Two outs. Goes down looking. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And we're back. We go. Max Muncy at the dish. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. There's a strike, and it's 2-1 and one now. One off, two and two. And a pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Three and two down. Stays alive. Pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Left hand batter waits. It's that's a lead off awful. walk, and that's the go ahead run. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. I don't think he you really wanted to home. pitch to him right there, anyhow. Right here. This task for Hernandez. He's already hard in this game. Right through there for a strike. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Stairs and the count is even two and two. On its way to the corner, nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. A hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Grounded out his first time. Just missed. In the air, right field. Thomas under it, puts it away for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. No left field. He can. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center.
First pitch just misses. Muncie off of first with two away. Splits the plate. And the count one and one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Gallo steps on the bag. What a play. Inning over. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself. Waves the pitcher off and continues to run into the dugout. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now up for Washington, C.J. Abrams. Paxton back to work. That inside one inside. Ball. And that is ball one. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Shohei Otani, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Brazier warming up as well. Next one misses. Now 2 0. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Smith gets it to first. One away here in the fifth. And here's the DH for Washington. Joey Manessis. Ripped base hit into right field. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. First nope, offering misses oh. badly for ball one. Here comes a pitch. Looked That's like it was a little bit up. Two and oh. He breaks his back. Off balance feed. There's one. Well, he had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Lane Thomas digging in for the Nationals. And that's in there for strike one. one and that's one. outside. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. Now fly ball to right center. Outman makes a move towards the gap. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. Nationals lead one. Score remains tied at three. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. And here it comes. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Chase that time. And 
And another ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And a ground ball to first. Takes it himself. Oh. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now Here's Mookie to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. There. Two balls and a strike. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. That oh, one misses. And now three and one. That's towards center. Moving under this one. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now, the manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Mackenzie Gore will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Robert Garcia will take over here. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. And first offering is fouled off. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. This one in the air center field. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing across here this half. We're through five. All tied up at three apiece. Welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Joey Gallo. The wind of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Movement in the bullpen. Shohei Otani. The hard-throwing righty is up and loosening. Oh, one one now. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Ildemaro Vargas now at the plate. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. One out, base is empty. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Wind 
into the pitch. That's outside. And that's ball two. Here's a tapper towards short. Oh, the throw is over his head. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. Shortstops have to make some pretty difficult throws across the field sometimes. Might have tried to put a little too much behind that one, but clearly he got under the throw. Didn't stay on top. Not a good release point, and it just took off on him. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. James Paxton won't go any further, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Shohei Otani into the game on for his major league debut so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage he just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point the only difference there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium but the game itself is still the same look at the catcher whatever fingers he puts down that's what you throw and just let him lead you in this one Adams at the plate and takes high there Pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes. And that's in for a strike. In the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Swung on, belted. That's back there. That one is gone. A two-run shot, his second of the year, and they take the lead. It's 5-3. extended and that's exactly what he did right there you don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over stays through the ball gets the lock and gets the home run now a chance for Trey Lipscomb and first offering is fouled off One down, base is empty. That catches the top part of the zone, and a count is 0-2. Ball That's one ball. there. One ball, Still strikes, only yeah. one out here in the inning. Aye. And down on strikes he goes. And two away now. Back to the top of the lineup. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man. One for three. Close, but called a ball. And it's one to no. Lifted in the air, right center field. On his way over. Corrals it. And that is that. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run homer. It's now 5-3. Back after this on the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. Pitch is in there. 
No balls, two strikes. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Matt Barnes looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Rainey getting loose as well. Left hand hitter waits. That one. just misses, and it's one and two. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Kicks and fires. Okay. Lifted in the air down the left side. Fair ball. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. The tag out. Got a lot of the hustle no, no. and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. At the play, Will Smith. That Three. clips the corner. 0 and 1. The pitch. Ball, that's inside. Pounding ball here, rolls foul. One and two here. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Skips in the dirt. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but no, now at least he gets a fresh no, start no, against a new batter. But no. he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Muncy, no the next strike. to hit, takes outside. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Two the two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. One, two now. That one just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. swing and a miss now two away way out in front of that inside pitch there and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want no with two way. strikes you want to let the ball travel make sure you recognize it try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play clearly fooled but i think even more so you question the two strike approach teoscar hernandez steps to the plate for the dodgers Right side, foul territory. Gallo makes the play. That is the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. They're still down, 5-3. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Yarbrough. He's been so good against lefties. Now the number two hitter, C.J. Abrams. C.J. Abrams. The 
pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. 1 and 0. Oh. Yarborough, a 6'5 lefty, 215 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The 1 0. -oh. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Hit weakly on the ground. Whips it to first on the run. Not in time, and he reaches safely. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. And now we'll see if they can make something happen. Up now for Washington, Joey Manessis. Now snap throw to first. Abrams gets back easily. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. All one's the count. And a pitch. And that's Ball, outside. That's and that's ball one. First with no outs here. And another ball. Three. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in there. He's into second easily on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Stepping in, Jesse Winker. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast. His fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. There's your strike. 0-1. One out and a runner at second here in the top half of inning number seven. Yarbrough throws over and he's back safely. And that's off the inside edge and it's one and one. And a pitch. Bounced out to short. Bats up with it. Gets it to first. And Winker is set down. Lane Thomas will hit next. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A massive home run. Third home run of the season. It's 7-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one and... Everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And 
Now it's Joey Gallo. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And it's fouled away. Deal one. And there's a ball. One and one. That smash towards center. Out makes the catch, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a four-run lead at 7-3. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. And the pitch. Popped in the air. Left field. Winker pulls that one down. And there's one down. Now got left fielder. Kike. And next for L.A., Kike Hernandez. That's outside, and that is ball one. The Dodgers down by four near the bottom of the seven. That one missed. Doing out. One down, base is empty. That's ball three. Three and out. Here's the automatic. Here's a rocket out to left. Makes the catch. Out number two. Now that second base is Gavin. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And nope. downstairs. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Nationals seven and the Dodgers three. Back here in L.A., now it's the second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. Yarbrough back to work. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hernandez sizing it up. Puts it away for the out. The batter. The catcher. Riley. Next to hit for the Nats. Riley Adams. Back in the sixth. He drove a two-run shot out of here to help them get the lead they're working with. Yeah, definitely one of the bigger moments in this game so far. And it could be one we look back on when this game is over as well. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. Clearly see the ball very well in this one. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters.
Joe Kelly gets the ball now. Power slider guy, Boog. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Digging in, Trey Lipscomb. On the ground to third, Muncy. Zips it to Got first, it. and there's two away. And now here's the Nationals' leadoff man. Pitch misses, Damn. ball one. Action in the pen down there. Alex Vesia looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Nope. Just off That's the inside, inside edge. Knock right field. Runner holds it third, so even with two outs, they didn't risk it. The bat, the football. CJ Abrams. Abrams getting ready to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. here a couple runners on two ball count you can't nibble but you have to execute and finish your pitch if you leave something out over the plate it's going to bring in some runs two on two outs and a foul ball Offering misses three and one now. I say one. Corners are occupied with two down. Out to short. That's out number three. Excellent work out of the Dodgers bullpen there. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Nationals seven and the Dodgers three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Matt Barnes. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. So the batting order Rudy turns Gaga over, and now it's Mookie Betts. Not short stop. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And he deals. Fought off foul. And Mookie takes. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Kicks and deals. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That was blasted to the moon. His second home run of the game, it's 7-4. That one just sounded different. Man, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. the 
plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Rojas. And there's a curve through for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And the right-hander deals. Just a weak fly ball this time. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back now into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be Ready. a little tricky, especially if the ring's running around out there. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Now Time on the swing was good. good. Able to shoot the ball at the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And at first, Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one is absolutely belted. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. One away, runners at second and third. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. All one's the count. Tying run at the plate. Fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run. He powers that one out of here. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 7-7. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Tanner Rainey taking over on the mound. Next for Los Angeles, Teoscar Hernandez. And that's in there at the knees. One down, base is empty. And ball one. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Kyle Finnegan getting ready to go. to the plate. <laughs> Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right-handed reliever. Spoils the two-strike pitch and he'll see another. is foul and the pressure is building back and forth we go a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one 
And that one lifted in the air center field. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there, it can really settle in. In the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. That's inside. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Two outs. That one fouled off. The one, two. Got him swinging. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And we're deadlocked here at 7-7. Seven, seven. We go to the ninth. And now the DH, Joey Manessis. Joey Manessis. The pitch. Right down the shoot, and that is strike one. And a pitch. Ball one. There's a strike at the knees. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. Just oh, missed. Man. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Back there. Forget it. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And now they're out front. It's 8-7. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well now it's the right fielder Lane Thomas that catches the corner all on the mound. This is a spot where he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the home run. Forget about now being behind on the scoreboard. Start fresh and get those hitters back up to the plate as quickly as possible. Righty delivers. Ball one. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Two balls, one strike. And no. that's off inside. the inside edge. And that's ball three. One run game here at the top of the ninth. And he walked him. 
trying to work his way back into the count right there, but oh, so much for that. Right Pretty good pitch, but the just doesn't get the call on 3 0. Oh. One yeah. down. Joey Gallo digging in for the Nationals. What's your thought in this spot? I mean, this guy's not a great contact guy, so there's not a lot of options in terms of the runner at first. No, I think what you do over there at first base. And they got him. I think the base runner was trying to catch him off guard, perhaps looking to steal right away and wasn't ready to get back to first. Nice pickoff move by the pitcher. Swinging a foul straight back. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. That one ran inside, right. almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Two down, nobody on. Aye. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two straight. Two outs. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Yeah, the slider just misses. And a 3-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Payoff pitch. So he's there at 98 miles an hour. One in the inning for the Nationals on the solo homer. And this is now an 8-7 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Number 42. A chance at his first save of the year. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat, ultimately, however he can, get to first base. One run game, bottom nine. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Swings and he breaks his bat. Then there's one down. Now bat the second base. Gavin. He's two outs away. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Out to short. Abrams tosses to first. Now only one out remaining. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Here's Mookie now. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. There's your strike. A one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. 
They're down to their final strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Damn. And that is the ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. And a final, 8-7. to seven. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final the line score for the ball game tonight, tonight for, the for the victorious Washington, Washington Nationals, eight runs on 14 hits, no errors, they left seven runners on base. For the Dodgers, seven runs, eight hits, one error, they left three runners on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 16 minutes. Tonight's paid attention, a sellout. 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.